because you're taking off in a way to where people can't stop you physically. They can't stop you spiritually. All they can get you to do is stop yourself mentally by distracting you, by, you know what I'm saying? One voice in this ear, one voice in that ear, this or that, 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 that. But you have to value somebody's opinion to respect it. You have to value somebody's opinion to take it in. You have to care to care, especially about miscellaneous stuff, which we don't care about, right? So continue to chase your dreams. Continue to know that as you're chasing your dreams, it comes with envy. It comes with negativity. And these are displayed through words. These are displayed through actions. These are displayed through passive aggressive gestures that are aimed to throw you off your purpose by getting you in your own head. See, if people could get you in your own head, you'll always doubt yourself and you'll always lean towards doubting God because why would you doubt yourself if he doesn't even doubt you and he empowered you to do what you're doing? <laughs> why would you do that, bro? Why would you do that, sis? But that's the thing. You don't. See, that season for you is over, right? And it's going to stay that way. That season for you has passed and it's not coming back. Your life is full of faith. Your life is full of blessings. Your life is full of abundance. And it's not going to stop, nor is anybody going to stop it. And now that they realize that they can, all they can do is opinionate. But like I said before, they see that it means nothing. They see that you're going to grow regardless. They see that no weapon for me that you shall prosper, right? They see that the more that they talk, the more that you grow. They see that it's nothing to a boss and it's peanuts to an elephant every single time, right? You're not nonchalant about serving God, right? You're not brushing things to the side when it comes to serving the Lord Jesus, but when it comes to nonsense, when it comes to small talk and gossip and things that have nothing to do with nothing, oh yeah, <laughs> that could get about your way because it's almost like it's invisible. It doesn't matter. And now that you know, it doesn't matter. Now that you're focused on what's important and you have your eyes on the prize, which is winning souls for the Lord Jesus and being obedient to his will for your life, you're moving in a miraculous way. You're moving in a supernatural way. You're receiving gifts. You're receiving miracles. You're receiving abundance. You're receiving prosperity. You're receiving love and happiness, right? You're receiving a lot of things that you may not have received last season and you're deserving of them. You're worthy of them. So enjoy what you have. Enjoy this time that you have with your family, that you have on this earth, and that you have to partake in this blessed season, this prosperous season, this joyful, happy, loving season, because it wouldn't be in your life if you didn't deserve it. And these opinions wouldn't be attacks from the enemy if they weren't, you know, what they are. Haters, negativity distractions, right? They're never going to make it easy for you. The same way we're winning is the same way they don't want us to win. So of course they're going to attack us with opinions. Of course they're going to attack us with critiques that don't matter because ain't nobody like the person who critiques somebody, but they're not doing nothing in life, <laughs> right? They sitting on the sidelines telling people how to play football. Yeah, man, if I was the running back or I was the quarterback, I would have threw that thing in there so nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they never stepped on a football field. <laughs> They're a number one fan for a reason. They've never tried it themselves. And that's cool. If you're a fan, that's cool. But stay in your lane when it comes down to having personal opinions of what you hypothetically would do if you've never done it. And that's just facts. All right. If you've never wrote a book, you can't be sitting up there telling everybody what you would hypothetically write a book. Okay, we'll write you a couple of chapters. If you've never shot a basketball, you can't be hypothetically telling people how you would drop baskets. Okay, well, go to LA Fitness and put up some shots. <laughs> like, get out of La La Land. And a lot of these people 
have been there so long, it's hard for them, which is why they keep talking. But don't worry about that. If you know the distractions, the negativity, the backsided comments, right? And the envious ways and words of these people are not going to hold you back or distract you. Don't you be afraid to hop down in that comment section and say, the only opinion that matters to me is Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Make sure you guys have down there, like this thing up, share this thing up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We're keeping the loop every time we drop. I'll catch you guys in the next one.